So last night I went on uh, this guy's show, Tucker Carlson's show, and um, it's nice they send a van to the house. I don't even have to go in, so really? it's really convenient. And uh, but they don't give they don't anyway. You know me, I worry about lighting. Anyway, uh, Tucker definitely has better lighting than me. Um, but anyway, so I'll play it for you now because, and so I went on. It was perfect. So we're doing this anti-war rally on February nineteenth, in um, in at the Lincoln thing in the thing in D.C. And uh, I forgot to mention it. I go on. I he lets me talk. We're talking uh. about we're talk we're talking about war for three minutes straight, and. I, I'm trying to remember all the stuff I wanted to say, and then I get to the end, and I'm like, okay, I think that I'll end it there. And then I thought he'd ask me one more question, and I was going to look at my notes to make sure, and he didn't. He just blah, 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 and that was it. And I was like, oh, I looked at my notes, like, oh, fuck, I forgot to. <laughs> if if someone else had done that, Yo. I would never let them forget about it. I would be, I would so fucking bust their butt. <laughs> you didn't talk about the day. You're talking up, about... Uh, the the gray zone when I brought up the great John Stewart Nazi medal article I still feel bad I didn't bring it up we posted he had it on the screen oh but we didn't uh, no no this thing to say so anyway so I'll just want to play so uh, I I think this segment speaks for itself you can be outraged by the people running our country selling out our country to China and you should be but that's a very different thing from wanting to go to war with China a war that we have no assurance we would win, to put it mildly. But in a memo to his troops, four-star Air Force General Mike Minahan wrote this, quote, my gut tells me we will fight in 2025. Xi, Xi Jinping, secured his third term and set his war council in October 2022. Taiwan's presidential elections are in 2024 and will offer Xi a reason. U.S. presidential elections are in 2024 and will offer Xi a distracted America. Xi's team, reason and opportunity are all aligned for 2025. So what should we take of this? Again, you can be deeply skeptical, in fact, hostile toward China and still be worried about going to war with China. Jimmy Dore is the host of The Jimmy Dore Show. He joins us tonight to assess. Jimmy, what do you, should, should we be paying attention to a memo like this? What do you think it means? Uh, what I think it means is that the United States is trying to provoke and sable ratter with another nuclear power, right? This is what we were supposed to be afraid of was going to happen with Donald Trump, right? We couldn't have, he's a crazy man who's going to have his finger on the nuclear button. And now we have Demented Joe who is saber rattling with two nuclear powers and they get the corporate media sponsored by the military industrial complex to get Americans to cheer it on. And why do Americans cheer it on? Because they have no idea what's actually happening with their foreign policy. And what's worse right. is they have have no yeah. idea that they have no idea <laughs> that they don't have any idea what's happening with their foreign <laughs> policy. We have 400 military bases surrounding China since the Korean War. Do we really think that China is getting ready to invade the United States? Because I tell you, they're not. They make everything we use in the United States. Why? Because the same people who want this war are the same people who took the good jobs that are manufacturing jobs in America, turned them into low paying crappy jobs and then shipped them to China. And then we get angry at them for the system that we set up if they're so corrupt because that's the thing americans have no idea how corrupt their government is they think our government's just regular corrupt like oh trump gave his son a job or biden gave his kid a no a no-show job in the ukraine board that's not the whole thing is corrupt the 800 billion dollar military budget is 800 billion dollars of corruption why do we have to have eight nine hundred military bases around we're the ones provoking this war just like we provoked the war in ukraine we are now provoking a war with china and what who who benefits i'll tell you right now your enemy is not china your enemy is not russia your enemy is the military industrial complex which has been fleecing this country to the tunes of hundreds of billions and trillions of dollars how many times are we going to have a defense secretary say hey we can't account for two trillion dollars in the pentagon again that like which has happened twice now in my lifetime mm. so again people are being uh, uh the, the war machine cannot be stopped. Who's running this country? The war machine. It certainly isn't Joe Biden making these decisions. I would like to know who is making the decisions. And I just want to remind everybody, the United States is the world's terrorist. We just set the Middle East on fire in the last 20 years. And now we're doing a proxy war in Ukraine, which we provoked, NATO provoked, and was just admitted that we provoked it by the former prime minister of Germany. And now we're trying to saber rattle with, with China and they're predicting a war. 
Again, China's not going to invade us. China's not our enemy. They, we might have an economic war. That's what these are. These are economic wars. These are wars right. for in Ukraine. It's about liquefied natural gas and making sure Germany and Russia never come together because we fear Russia's uh, natural resources and manpower. And we fear them getting together with Germany with their technology and their capital. And so that's why we blew up the Nord Stream pipeline. That's why we're doing the Ukraine war. This is all about hegemony, imperialism and economic economics. And if there's a Marine somewhere, it's there because they're about to steal some natural resources from another country. As everybody's screaming about what a bad guy Putin is for invading Ukraine, the United States is currently occupying a third of Syria. And which third is that? It's the third that has the oil. And how do I know we're there to steal their oil? Because the president of the United States said so. <laughs> we're, not, we're not even benefiting economically. That's, I mean, of course, that's the rub. Jimmy Dore, I appreciate it. Thank you. My pleasure. I like to really drag. Oh, you can come to me. I like to really drag that out. <laughs> that's well, I would have forgot to plug uh, the mortgage as well, because that's a lot. of. I don't know. You got that all out. I, I, I don't know. I just I just start going anyway. So there it is. And uh, by the way, um, I would love to say that stuff on MSNBC, CNN, ABC. They will never have me on. The only person in the whole corporate news that will have a message like that is a guy who hosts for Fox News and coincidentally has the number one news show in America. I was going to say he has better ratings. <laughs> Why would you go on the on the best rated one? <laughs> so I'm on the number one news show in America and then I get to also go on the number one podcast in America or in the world. In the so, world. So I think it's okay. So um, thanks to Tucker for bringing me on and, and having uh, having that message to his audience, which needs to hear that China... And Russia are not your enemy. They, they they need to hear it. They got to hear it. And thanks for talking to let me say it. Well, you know what's so funny is like they're not going to invade the United States. People are like, oh, if they invade Taiwan. That's not invading the United have, States? Yeah. yeah. We have to go. Taiwan, the United States, not me. According no. to the United States, it belongs to them. It belongs to Taiwan. So I what mean, are you China. talking about? Yeah, to, uh, to China. Yeah. I didn't know that we officially said that this whole time. This I've only heard if one, they invade Taiwan. It's one China policy. So that means the United States acknowledges that China owns that. that they're part of them. There's a uh, there's a movie in China that's like their version of Rambo called Wolf Warrior. Okay. when the, It's a lot of stuff about like how they're nicer in Africa and then they fight a, a capitalist bad guy. And, but it's like Rambo. It's just like how Rambo is. And they have a thing called Wolf Warrior Diplomacy, which is politics. Like, when I think of that Dippy General, all that thing he was saying, there's a bunch of politicians that are like that. And I, I watch a whole video about China has these wolf warrior diplomats. Like, everything we say sounds exactly like what they say. Yep. The two years, we're going to have to have a war. They're going to have to have a war. They're going to have a blue water navy. <laughs> to blue, challenge us on the high seas. A blue water navy. That means they can leave I, the China area with their navy. Navy. Hey, we're doing live stand-up comedy in Los Angeles, Tempe, Arizona, Palm Springs, Milwaukee, Minneapolis, Nashville, Northampton, Massachusetts, and a lot more places. Go to JimmyDoor.com for a link for tickets and become a premium member. While you're there, you get access to all of our stuff. See you then.